Now we are going to be using a single image. I'm going to upload the picture that we had from before. Now, if you go, if you made an ad and the text ratio was too big, then they'll tell you right away up there, like, oh, your ad may have, have a problem. So just look out for that. Now, I want to create a new Facebook page because we haven't done that yet. Are we a company? We are, I always forget which one to, to do. Cancel, let's see. Um, what are we? Brand product. We are sports equipment. Are they, are you there? Website, there we are. Golf Kings, upload picture. We could use our logo from before. Now it's creating a Facebook page for us. That's how instant it is. Every ad needs a Facebook page associated with it. So that's why that step is there. Now let's let's go back for a second. I think I need to change one thing. Where is it? Is it placements? Edit placements. Aha, here it is. Edit placements. This is this is where I disagree with Facebook. I don't want Instagram. I don't want their audience network. I don't want the right column. I want to be in the feeds. I want to be on the mobile feed. I want to be on the desktop feed. And that's it. So now we go back to format. And now you'll see the X's here for Instagram audience network in the right column. Okay. Let's get our URL. Put that there. This will automatically um, upload an excerpt from the page. You, I highly recommend that you change this to, to give some good ad copy. What you want to do is have people nodding yes as soon as they see your ad. So let's see what we got. Um, need a good laugh next time. Need a good laugh the next time you're on the T. Grab these novelty teas, novelty teas, <laughs> um, today for free. Just pay the shipping. For your headline, free, exclamation. Just pay shipping. The reason why that little warning sign came up is that they don't like it when you have all capitals. So I'm only doing a portion of my sentence. So that's fine. Um, 
I never went and bought another uh, domain for this example. Uh, if you if you're doing what I'm doing right now for the example, where you have the myshopify.com URL address, I, I recommend that you don't do it that way. But you should. There is a way to conceal that right now. Yeah. So it would let me. There we go. It shows the myshopify.com thing there. So you can actually change that, turn it to, you could turn it to your actual URL address, golfkings.com. So people look at that and say, oh, that's much more trustworthy. I will go here. I like to change it to shop now. So this uh, paragraph down here, you can continue your description or you can refine what, what what's there um, let's see the perfect gift for the perfect gag gift for the fun loving golfers you know okay so I mean that's a pretty good looking ad I, I mean it's not a wonderful looking ad but that is a solid ad that is going to drive traffic to your website people are going to see this product up front and center and say whoa I gotta get it and when they get there it's going to be free they're going to put it in their cart going to be $6.95 uh, for shipping and they're going to say hey you know what why not $6.95 that, that's a reasonable shipping amount and I'm going to I'm going to go for it so all you do at the end is you hit place order I'm not going to do that right now because um, you know my store is only for example but uh, that's it that's how easy it is and once this ad is up and running people are going to come to your store and purchase your item